The new pest of sorghum is the sugarcane aphid. Uh, this species is indistinct from the sugarcane aphid that uh, invaded Florida in 1977 and then arrived to Louisiana in 1999. Uh, however, right now we don't know this is a new biotype. It means it switched from some from sugarcane to only feeding on sorghum of or if it's a new invasive species that came from abroad. So this aphid uh, uh, reduced the yields on some areas from 50 to 100% uh, either in Louisiana, Texas or Mexico. It uh, moved or dispersed very rapidly from the original uh, point of detection in uh, area close Beaumont and it moved to Louisiana, Mississippi, Oklahoma, the Rio Grande Valley, and now it's in Mexico. It reached all the way to Ciudad Victoria. Probably we are going to have some big problems the next coming season, and uh, this is uh, something that we need to worry. Uh, we are going to do some uh, evaluation of pesticides, uh, coordinated evaluation, with uh, researchers from Louisiana, uh, the Coastal Bend, Beaumont, Corpus Christi, here in the Rio Grande Valley, and also with Dr. Armstrong in uh, Oklahoma. So we are going to do some replicate insecticide tests uh, using different kind of uh, uh, products that have different mode of action. Uh, currently, with the help of the uh, Texas Department of Agriculture, uh, they have a registration for a new product to be used uh, on sorghum fields. There were several uh, uh, types of natural enemies, including parasitoids, ladybugs, uh, syrphid or sweat flies, and also lacewing uh, insects. So we are going to study these insects. Uh, or in addition to that, I have two interns uh, that are going to work specifically. One is going to work on lace wings, the other is going to work on ladybugs. And people from College Station are working with parasitoids.